What's up guys and welcome back for another solo mining episode, episode 58. And I've done a lot of talk about my experience from when I started playing EVE and up to the point where I got to like Null and kind of deal with all the, the drama that was there. But I really want to focus a lot um, on what my past couple of years have been operating as a solo player and kind of um, the transition period I went from uh, essentially being codependent in a null block to essentially operating um, all across New Eden as a solo operative for the most part. Now, one of my biggest concerns before going completely solo, and I had thought about it a lot, was how big my uh, ISK uh, income would be impacted by um, strictly being a solo player, not relying on a, um, a group of people to do uh, a certain thing. I probably thought about moving to solo for like several months while still kind of doing mining fleets and doing all that kind of stuff before I really even kind of made that jump. But I started to notice a lot of patterns and stuff even at you know the fleet level um, and like alliance or corporate level uh, mining operations. And I still see it to this day when I observe other people and other corporations mine. I think for the most part, all high level mining is pretty much solo even though people might not want to label it like that when i look at a corporation or somebody mining like let's say a moon frack or something you can very clearly tell that there are groups of players with you know their command alt and their their mining alts and they're all in like they're all in the same fleet obviously and they're all kind of like out there doing the uh, mining all at once but for the most part they are still very much solo operating um, where they're not dependent on it. I didn't I didn't really see any um, like codependency in terms of mining um, since I moved out to uh, Nullsec. Now, a lot of new players and stuff at HiSec who uh, didn't have alts that were in like Orcas or Porpoises or whatever would rely heavily on the uh, corporation to get mining boosts and be efficient. But I think that for the most part, it, in my opinion, when you get to a certain level of industry, you get into a certain level of mining, you you become solo regardless. Now, a lot of my um, my thoughts behind becoming solo um, stemmed a lot a lot further from just mining itself. My uh, it was kind of like a scorched earth kind of thing where, regardless of what I was going to do in the future, I was going to do it solo, whether it been ratting or exploration, or operating in nullsec or poshman or wormhole space, no matter what. And that was a challenge that I always liked seeing. I always wanted to have the challenge of solo. I've done it in many games in the past. And one of the things I did when I first went into just strictly being solo is I, I definitely got away from mining for for a time. I ended up getting into ratting. I ended up exploring a lot of aspects of the game that I otherwise didn't get to uh, up to that point because of just being... Um, strictly in a corporation that did a certain thing and anything that deviated from that was uh, certainly frowned upon so one of the biggest surprises that came to me was when I actually started doing high level ratting um, after becoming solo and seeing how uh, much better the ESC generation was even being solo than what I had previously experienced was, uh, was definitely the turning point where I was like yeah I can definitely make this work I can definitely do things um, not even at scale like I, a lot of people have been doing up to that point because um, like in up to that point every uh, thing if you want to make more isk in a mining corporation you had to have more alts or you had to you know um, you know just train you know n plus one and get more mining alts on field because all of our income was based on how much we mined and then a percentage based off the mining op for that and I felt very very limited in terms of income being part of group mining I felt like um, I think I've talked about this before in the past where I felt like my gameplay or my uh, time spent playing the game was um, very much controlled by others and I wanted to really kind of dictate all that on my own terms which is a big benefit for just kind of operating solo you can kind of go and do whatever you want to do without necessarily just having to you know check any boxes or whatever but I want to just kind of talk about the next or the past two years and kind of what it's looked like for me in terms of income and experiences I've had and um, and everything like that. Now, 
obviously like very short out of the gate from becoming solo i noticed that um there were a lot more <laughs> aspects to the game that definitely had a very good variance of uh isk generation than just mining probably the biggest turning point for me and i think that if i hadn't gone solo i probably quit playing eve online a long time ago because i was very much um trained or i guess you could say uh i was very much uh I was I, the, the the aspects around like ratting exploration or anything that was not mining was ex, uh, certainly uh, was certainly frowned upon, and everybody that I was associated with were very much uh, in the mindset of if you weren't mining in Eve, then you were really just kind of throwing away esk, and you weren't really doing anything uh, profitable. Or ratters are just you know not good at mining, so that's why they rat or st st stupid stuff like that. And so when I started actually doing high level ratting, I noticed that the ESC was so much better than what I had been making doing even high level mining that uh, it kind of just, you know, gave me a lot more perspective. And for me right now, and what I've been doing the past few years is a mixture of everything. So exploration, um, ratting and mining across all different areas of space. And I think that's something that I probably wouldn't have been able to accomplish had I been strictly part of like a null block corporation that we're doing. Um, a certain type of activity. There's no way I would have been able to go out and spend a month in wormhole space or be able to just focus on ratting and not have to like get into a mining ship for an extended amount of time or go to high sec and just, you know, mess around with the uh, belts bar or do missions or whatever the case may be. So I think the freedom that I got from moving solo was probably the biggest benefit for me and being able to just kind of like at any moment just kind of like decide to do something else and not necessarily be uh, badgered or held back. So that's, um, I'll probably never go back to uh, strictly playing uh, group um, or fleet stuff. I think that if, you know, I do end up doing more uh, PvP stuff, I might do it for the social aspect. And I think that is purely the, uh, the line in the sand is I kind of treat like group play and like fleets as a social aspect, not necessarily a key element to um my success in game so and i think that just probably goes without saying across you know whatever you're doing um if you want to have a lot of fun and you want to like you know just mess around and you, you get with your buddies and you, you know go out and get stuff blown up or whatever but if you're strictly trying to like get isk or you're trying to fund something you're better suited to just do things on your own for the most part now I haven't it, until recently I hadn't done a lot of manufacturing. I did a little bit of manufacturing after breaking off into solo, mainly in the terms of uh, fuel blocks. Did a lot of fuel block manufacturing, um, which was really nice. That was kind of my first break into manufacturing that and nanite repair paste. Those are still two of my really kind of go-to manufacturing things. Um, as far as like right now, with the amount of stuff that we have in research and reactions, is probably the furthest I've gone into manufacturing up to this point. Um, I don't know how much of a, an impact that'll have on uh, overall monthly income. I think I'm doing a lot more for the content than I am really the income because there's definitely more uh, straight line um, investments you can do for uh, if just if you're trying to generate just straight ISK. But uh, a lot of the focus I'm doing right now is just on nanite repair pace at scale, which uh, there's bottlenecks and everything in every type of inter uh, industry. So um, it's something that I don't necessarily put a whole lot of weight on as far as monthly income a lot of um a lot of my uh, just tried and true ways of making isk uh solo is just being consistent with things like uh just like mining and ratting um i don't show a lot of my ratting content but mostly because a lot of my series uh on this channel are kind of focused on industry i think that if there is interest in kind of more talk about ratting and things like that i can potentially maybe do like a series that kind of goes over that stuff but for me ratting is just kind of like going out you know killing a bunch of stuff and coming back there's really not any um any really in-depth information going over that unless i did like absolute you know um detailed uh guides over rated sites and things like that but but for over the past two years it, m income has been uh been pretty consistent and really it comes down to just well as much as i play is as much as i make 
all right it's like you know time investment which is i, I try to like focus a lot on like passive income so i think that's why I, I tend to do like more pi than anything because if i'm out there i can set up pi it can kind of do its thing um just like right now i'm out here mining in high sec but um the pii and the stuff i have going in null is still kind of running so i'm kind of double dipping for the most part and i think that's uh, a big part of being solo is like you don't necessarily want to just be like a solo player doing just one activity i think that would probably hinder the amount of uh enjoyment and also the amount of income you can do on a monthly basis um the biggest thing for me moving solo was actually getting into a lot of different aspects of the game so i definitely think that over the past two years if i hadn't gotten into ratting and exploration and industry manufacturing all that stuff then i probably like i said would have probably quit playing a long long time ago because prior to that i strictly undocked turned lasers on and that and mined with a uh, corp fleet and that was kind of my day-to-day -day thing and if that had continued <laughs> then i don't think and if i if i if that had continued and i didn't get more perspective or insight or knowledge of other aspects of the game i would have thought very little of the depth of uh, what could be done in New Eden. So thankfully, like probably the biggest turning point for me is just, you know, breaking away from uh, stigmas and breaking away from what people had told me, going out and experiencing things on my own, running it through my own, uh, you know, optics and seeing how efficient things are compared to others, but also not strictly, um, you know, crossing one thing off. Like, I'm not going to say, you know, you go out and mine Rakoxis, that's you know really good mining income but you know if you go out and rat a tingu on like a hub or a port not very good income but both can be done in certain scenarios because even um even back way back in the day in like null sec whenever there was a lot of traffic in a system where we couldn't go out and mine we were just done for the day there's nothing else for us to do what could the mining uh, corporation do if they couldn't mine you know they had no other skills or knowledge and that's one reason I definitely wanted to get away from like that strict uh, gameplay because I didn't want to feel like I was um, limited because of one aspect or another. You know, flash forward now, if I'm in Nullsec and there's a lot of traffic, a lot of newts or fleets or blops in the area and I can't mine, well, I'll go do something else. I'll sit there and do PI or I'll jump in a, you know, a PVP ship and go, you know, do some Nullsec hunting myself whatever the case may be i'm no longer limited and i think it's not really it's not really a discussion of like you know transitioning from fleet or group play to solo it's more or less a a discussion of um you know transitioning from a limited mindset or perspective to you know opening up your options and giving yourself a lot more um ways to play for the most part in terms of uh just like overall mining nowadays uh a lot of i do a lot of mining in high seg just to uh kind of fuel up uh trit for manufacturing i don't necessarily do a lot of mining in null sec uh, i probably will do some in the next few episodes just kind of showcase that i know a lot of people have had questions about how to do solo mining in null sec uh, the, one of the biggest problems with null sec uh mining not even just solo but just the fact that the year is uh rat capitals that can come out on grid um at random times can um really be a damper that doesn't really affect whether you're solo or in a group like even if you're with a fleet and a dread comes on grid the mining fleet is most likely going to get off grid regardless uh, it's just more of less a uh, an inconvenience for the most part that's why um pretty much any mining i do in null sec is going to be merc or I'll go out there for crokite, kernite, or anything that kind of fills gaps in materials like isogen or noxium. But then again, when I think about terms of like going out and looking for like a couple of kernite rocks and like a colossus or like a couple of um, crokite rocks in null sec, it's better just to go out and do like high sec rare ore mining where that stuff, you can get a lot more isogen from just mining that stuff. Uh, you get several different rocks um, than what you get from a couple of rocks there in null sec and as far as low sec mining i i've done it for this series and i've done it in the past it just doesn't seem efficient to me and it just kind of seems like a waste of time uh posture i'd rather do posture mining than uh low sec mining for the most part but uh as far as like looking forward and um kind of looking at like hopefully what the next two years can kind of entail um i'm hoping to do if we do end up going back into like high level 
uh, mining where that means like an orca porpoise and multiple alts I do want to kind of showcase that maybe in different areas in like terms of like taking a f uh, my own solo fleet into like Poshvin and doing things like Spud Main and things like that. I've only ever done mining in Poshvin with um, a single character, but that would be kind of interesting to explore. Or even just do maybe more like high level uh, moon mining with uh, multiple alts and things like that. Uh, as that's as you know, kind of what my goals are um, in terms of like mining in the future. But a lot of the things I'm looking at kind of outwards is going to be more like manufacturing, um, you know, try to get a lot of income from PI. But also, I'm also thinking a lot about um, actually just, you know, getting more into or spending more time doing um, PvP type stuff in terms of like probably faction warfare or just doing uh, null sex solo uh, hunts or roams. Um, and that's something that I'm probably going to do a series over in the future once I kind of figure out what how I want to approach it but uh, one kind of the one aspect of uh, the game that I haven't really spent a lot of time on would be PvP so it, hopefully that will be um, be interesting and I, I do actually find that kind of interesting I don't really necessarily like going out and PvPing with groups because it seems to be kind of like oh just a waste and you know uncoordinated uh, mess or disaster but in terms of like a solo PvP fit, going out and just kind of hunting uh, seems really interesting to me. So I'm probably going to try to explore that a little bit more as I can. In terms of uh, high sig mining, I think we're just going to keep uh, kind of going. Um, even if we're not really using the materials, I think just kind of always having lasers on is kind of interesting. Uh, and just stockpiling. I've always been a real big fan of just like stacking up a bunch of uh, ore, even if it's not being used for anything. And that's um, been kind of the goal for this series, just a lot of mining. But I'm probably going to try to focus a little bit more on just trying to mine a lot more volume and um, see how long. Like, I know when we started the series, it was all about, like, you know, mining up to Omega and how long it would take. But I think that we're going to try to refocus this series, too, on, like, um, with the Mackinac, with the Max trained alt as it is now. The trying to, like, you know, go out here and mine. Um, as if we were trying to do like Omega again and uh, kind of contrast that against what we did at the beginning of the series and see how that all goes and everything but I'll probably um, also try to move around a little bit more too maybe start mining in some other areas of uh, other regions of high sec and just kind of give more of a visual like background of space and keep things interesting I don't really find the need too much to change a lot about how I'm doing high sec mining because you know Veldspar and Scordite and Plague and all that stuff is the same here as it is in another region. Um, and I have a lot less travel here to uh, my outpoints to Nullsec. So it makes it just kind of a convenient way to kind of stick things. But other than that, it's, um, I don't want this to be a very long episode. Um, I've, you know, the past few days have been kind of uh, rough as far as uh, generating content. Um, I did end up getting, um, I was like sick for a couple days and um, some of the stuff in NullSec, uh, been trying to focus a lot on the PI and um, kind of been just waiting for reactions and stuff to get done out there, which has been very, very time consuming. We've um, we've got a couple more days left on the, the jobs and the reactions we started like 30 days ago. So we'll um, look out for like a NullSec episode showing all that stuff and we'll be looking at the next set of uh, stuff going on uh, there but right now a lot of what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out like where I want to go next and what I want to do next in terms of EVE Online and a lot of what I like I said a lot of what I've been looking at and trying to get into is probably um, some sort of a solo PvP just to kind of break up the monotony between from doing like manufacturing and ratting or just focusing more on ratting which is the great thing about the solo null sex series it can kind of you know encompass you know the solo pvp roams out there or um ratting and stuff like that it's not strictly like mining but in terms of this series i want to try to like do a lot more different mining like we had done in the past um my might do the next episode in null sec or um poshvin or something like that just to kind of keep things interesting and kind of show you guys different areas to mine in and things but Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.